Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and big news from Google today at their conference. They are announcing Google All Access Music, which is a subscription music service that lets you have access to everything in the Google library. You can listen to the songs on your computer, you can listen to the songs on your phone and your tablet and your other phone and your other tablet, 10 devices. And this is what's really sold me on it because um, I've listened to Spotify for quite a while, and I like it, but I admit I listen to it for free on the computer, and I've considered signing up to $10 a month so I could use it on my phone on the go, but then uh, my wife's got a phone, and I'd like to be able to use it on multiple devices, and I don't want to pay $40 or $50 a month for that service. So Google is offering this uh, standard sign up. It's going to be $9.99 a month, but wait. If you sign up before June 30th, $7.99 a month, First 30 days free to try it out. So I'm going to sign up right now. I'll walk you through the steps. But if you'd like to jump ahead and, and try it out for yourself, I'll put a link right down below. If you're uh, logged into your Google account, it should take you right to a page where you can uh, sign up for this service yourself. All right, their font's pretty terrible on this one. It's really hard to see over here. But they're basically telling you that this will work for up to 20,000 songs. You can um, put into your account, basically, Music added from the Google Play Store doesn't count towards the limit, but I don't think I even know 20,000 songs. Um, here I can subscribe to All Access. I can choose to block explicit songs in the mixes, I guess in case you're going to have this on your kid's account as well. And then down here is the Manage My Devices. I've got my laptop computer here, authorized, and I've got my Samsung Galaxy Nexus, but I can add other devices and then share the music amongst all of them. So I'm going here to subscribe to All Access. This may be what you're seeing on your screen if you click the link down below uh, to try it out free is their first option. And you're logged in. You're going to be using this Google account. If you have more than one, make sure it's the one that you want to use. Um, if you have a credit card on file, they'll be glad to charge it to that. But of course, you do get your 30-day free trial. And you'll automatically, since I'm signing up right now, be charged $7.99 plus any applicable tax every month starting June 14th, because that's a month from now until I cancel my subscription. So I'm hoping this will be the $7.99 forever. I'll be grandfathered in at that, as opposed to having to pay the $9.99 after a year or something, but we'll see. I'm going to buy. Here I am, congratulations, all access free trial. Add your music too. You can combine your collection with ours. I guess that's the music you've moved into your uh, Google Music, whether from your CDs or your purchases. Getting started. Oh, I see. They'll scan your computer for music and add that so you can access it from your phone. Very nice. Let me search for somebody a little offbeat here. How about Luis Miguel? And, oh, we have a number of his albums, compilation albums. Apparently I have access to play all these. Let me check how it works on my phone now. Okay, here on my Google Galaxy Nexus. All right, I went into my phone, went into my music, and it's still showing that I had to pay for all the albums, and I thought, what's up with that? But, went into the apps and searched for all access. So go into Google Play, do an app search for all access, and it turns out there's an update that enables all the all access features. So you will have to get this for the all access to be accessible on your phone. I'm going to update. They seem to want to know a lot, but okay. Looks like it's about a seven and a half megabyte uh, update. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, let me search here for Luis Miguel. Okay. I can't let you hear the song there because uh, of YouTube, but trust me, it's playing. Apparently, I've accessed all the songs on the album, and I can uh, add them to a playlist. I can still buy them, but if I can listen to all the music on Google's music service for $7.99 a month, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be buying much music.
So I finally found a music service that I'm willing to pay a monthly fee for. Admittedly, it's only $7.99. That helps. But it lets me have access to all the CDs of music, so long as I've put them into the uh, Google Music service and let them uh, make note of what I have. Also, the music that I've bought. Also, everything in their library I can listen to, not only on the computer, I can listen to on the phone, the tablet. Questions like, uh, what bit rate are they playing at? Um, how do the songs work? If you want to save them to play offline, can you put a thousand songs on your phone and then listen to them for a month somewhere where you have no uh, phone service for it to check in and verify your subscription? I'll have to find out things like that, so I will report back when I know those answers. But this is really looking good. I'm uh, very excited about it. If you'd like to try it out, at least for the 30-day free trial, and certainly if you want to be one of the people who grandfather in that $7.99 monthly fee, the link's down below to sign up for yourself.